Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gotta get it, man. Look on game, boy. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me, man. Oh, boy, boy, boy. I'm feeling good, man. You know, we two losses, you know, rank 13. But, hey, JT Daniels. I said, JT Daniels. I hear the first quarterback says Aaron Murray. 2013 through 400 yards and four touchdowns, man. Stop playing with that boy. And the thing is, he did that. His first game since August 31st, 2019. He did that last year, man. Let me tell you. No, I'm on trade, man, you know. Yes. Mm-hmm. No. But, yeah. So, you telling me that he our first quarterback. Dude rusty. He rusty. Like, you know, he been scrimmaging in practice, you know, but that's nowhere near the game. So he's not getting hit in practice. So he come in and rushed this on know what. The run game was no existence. Like Mississippi State sold all out on the run. JT Daniels won us that game. Like I don't know if Stetson Ben or Dwan Magic could have won us that game. I, I I can't say we probably lost that game for those JT Daniels because the run game we had like I man I know he got sacked like three or four times. The O line was trash. And the defense, you know, the defense really had no answer at first. Now, we were trying to run three. Like, at Mississippi State played their best game. They had no turnovers. Usually, they had, like, four or five turnovers. They had no turnovers. So, and then Mississippi State defense, they run defense is horrible. But they pass defense pretty good. They got a lot of deep linemen. Like I say, they, they sold out on the run. They tried to force JT Daniels. He rusty. Like, what, is, what, co what defensive coordinator or coach were not playing? Force JT Daniels. The quarterback who ain't played in over a year, they beat you. Like the first game of the year at that. So you you do that. And Mississippi State did good. I mean, we won 24 31. But JC Daniels played they're like the Heisman quarterback. Could have had more yards than one for penalties. That's the thing. So I don't get it. Georgia, with Stetson Bennett, you know, played good defense. You know, limit penalties. You know. But with JT Daniels, balling out, the defense looked lost. Dan Landon, I don't know what Dan Landon got going on. Like, I, I mean, like I said, maybe Mississippi State countered that because they knew Georgia's going to rush three, you know, drop eight. You know, Georgia really don't play that type of game. You know, like I said, when when Georgia made adjustments in the fourth quarter, they, they start playing in regular defense. Georgia start balling out. Mississippi State couldn't move the ball no more. But like I said, yes. And the penalties, the referees try to cheat us. But I mean, it is what it is. Like, Georgia should have had 40 points. But like I say, at least 40 something. Had 31. But it is what it is. You know, they was calling unnecessary holding calls, you know. <laughs> like, clearly they want to hold him, but it is what it is. Yeah, again, like, I don't know if Stetson Bennett would have won us again. I don't know if Dwayne Method would have won that game. I don't know if they would have. Stetson Bennett would have had 400 yards in him and throw them deep balls like that. He, he didn't have it in him. Like, I'm talking about JT Daniels. I said, he had a few underthrown balls, you know, a few low balls. But I say it's rest. He's not going to rest off. Like, this is the first game he actually played against a pretty good athletic defense. Like, at least it's a line, at least. You know, this ain't no Murray State or no Texas State University or, you know, <laughs> Arkansas State or something, man. You know, no, no FCS team. He's doing it against the athletic Mississippi State defense. I mean, like I say, they had, like, one of the best pass defense in the SEC. I mean – Think. I mean, I think Matt Jones had like 289 passing yards, 279 passing yards against them, 269, something like that. Less than 300 passing yards. And like I say, they were, they were giving up 173 yards rushing a game. So they sold out on the run. And it was basically JT Daniels' show. He had to win the ball. He had to throw the ball deep, you know, and all that. They was giving us nothing down low. And he basically had to throw it deep. And if we didn't have a quarterback authority, we would have probably lost that game to Mississippi State at home, sadly. So, great J.C. Daniels, man. I wish uh, – you came a little too late. You came a little too late, but it is what it is. We can look forward next year, and maybe we can boost the recruiting on offense, you know. Like, because, you know, he throwing down like that in his first game. If he keep it up, you know, I'm pretty sure, you know, like I say, nine teams realize he got an arm. They ain't going to be able to just sell out and run. 
But I do, he's going to beat you over the top with pickers, them. Oh, Jermaine, Jermaine Burton had almost 200 yards, man. <laughs> hey, dude, balling. Now, you look, pickers look happy. But everybody, offense look good. Like, the O line look lost at times. I mean, JT Daniels got sat way too many times. But, you know, that's coming from, you know, a little rest. You know, you know the game speed different in practice, you know. But like I say, but still the old line looking lost. Like, it looked like they didn't want to block nobody. Like, I don't know if they didn't have faith in JT Daniels or what. I don't know. But, like I said, the passing game looked good. The run game was shut down. Defense looked lost their first half. You know, Dan Landon, I mean, I, again, I, I want much jump. Must jump. We need to hire Must jump and demote Dan Lennon. You know, until Must jump find a new job, coaching job somewhere. We need to put that Must jump. We Must jump at defensive coordinator, and you know, let Dan Lennon learn under Must jump and Kirby Smart. And if Must jump get a coaching job at, you know, uh, doggone, I don't know, doggone Vanderbilt or something. You know, then you know, get Dan Lennon his job back. But until then, you know, we need much junk. Because Dan Lennon, he's still young. Like, these offenses, it's too good to have a young defense coordinator. Like, these offenses now, like, and, he, and you're getting better offensive minded coaches. Like, they know how to, they know for sure, like, this play work 80% of the time when it runs to the left or right. They know, you know, all the plays, like, you put this player at this, on this hash mark, and he run a uh, go, he most likely going to be open. Like, these offensive coaches are smart. And you got a young defensive coordinator, like you might have the best players, but if you don't know when they're going to do it, like a weird route, we still getting killed on weird routes. Like, Dan Lennon's still young. He is, you know, but it is what it is. You know, Todd Monk and balling out this year. Man, man, fly. Oh, dog. Fly trying to make me up. But Dan Lennon, no. No. Let me see, Dan Lennon. Todd Monk and out here looking good, man. Oh. He out here looking good. Like, he. I mean, all he needed was a quarterback who could get the ball to the route receiver. He calling great games. Like, most of the Florida game, it was like eight times the players were open. Players open just about every play in Florida game. We had no quarterback who could look and give it to him. Dang, speed coming out. Speed. Dog, boy. We had no route receiver to give it to him. Or dog on overthrown passes, underthrown passes. It was it. Dog, man. The fly messed up my whole dog on video. Anyway. <sighs> It feel good to have a 400 yard passing. I, I don't, you can't even say 400 yards passing in Georgia the same center. Like, when the, 2013 was the last time we had a 400 yard passing. 1200, I don't, I think, I don't even remember the last time we had a 350 yard passing, not a 400 yard, but I think from most of the game he had, I think from had like 298 yards. You know, again, that was against Bama. SSD championship game, but you know he had like 295, 298. But like I said, like he never liked it. I mean, JT Daniel need look good. Like he over here rolling out and doggone juk stepping and all that, man. He look good. I don't, like I, he a little too late. He put him in a little too late. I don't know if he was healthy or not. But it is what it is, man. Maybe we can just prepare for next year. But Florida State, Florida State ducking Clemson. Oh man, I see this. Goodness. Before I say ducking Clemson, I mean, a player got COVID on Clemson, and then they decided to schedule the game. Before the State said no. They wanted no problems with Clemson, Trevor Lawrence and Clemson. Like, Trevor Lawrence probably going to drop 88 after they lost to Notre Dame. They are probably going <laughs> to rape <laughs> Florida State. And Florida State and Florida got something coming this year. They both know how to avoid getting another loss. But that's a whole other story, huh? Now going to Oklahoma, rape Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State was overrated. I knew that from the get-go. Like, they were playing nobodies. The barely be nobodies. You know, they were right like seven at one time, one point. Thought that was going to be a playoff team. I told people, like, they sorry. Garbage. Penn State 0-5. And thing is, people was talking about Penn State would beat Georgia. How? They can't even beat sorry teams in the big team, but they could beat Georgia. Come on, man. Like, Penn State is horrible. 0-5. 0-5, they ain't had an 0-5 since 1987. Uh, Bama, Bama, right now if I had to choose who would win the national championship right now, it would be Bama. Bama, Bama dropped 63 points on Kentucky. 63 points. 
Good Lord Almighty. Since the three, like, once, like, I say, you can't start the offense. Like, it was like 21, 21, 7, 14, 7 for a long time. I mean, I said 14. It was like 14, 3 for a long time. Then when Belmont start heating up before the second half, end of the, like, end of the first half, like, last six minutes, Belmont dropped, start heating up. It was like 28 3 in the second half. For the first, second half. Then they just kept on. Like, one, you're not stopping the offense long. Once they get their rhythm, <laughs> you don't score the ball or force turnovers. This is a route. Like, they're they going to run a score like this. Like this. Like, so, drop six three points on Kentucky. Kentucky got a good defense. They got a good physical defense. And they dropped six three. Now, I ain't. <laughs> it's crazy, man. I think Florida played Vanderbilt. You know, they had a little struggle. But, you know, eventually, you know, like I say, these teams, the SEC teams, that's why they're good. Like, they're getting better. Vanderbilt is competing. Like, you say what you want, Vanderbilt, like, 0 and 7. But they're competing. Every week, they're getting better. Like, every week, they're getting better. Either D-line getting better, quarterback player getting better, Rob receivers are getting better, cornerbacks getting better. Like, every week is something. So, you can't, like I say, I mean, they're the worst team in the SEC, but they're getting better. They, you just can't even go out there, you know. And like they're like, oh, it's Vanderbilt. You gotta actually bring your A game to get Vanderbilt. And it has some key players out. But let's see. A lot of games got canceled because of COVID. LSU, you know, out here partying. Had to get the Alabama game canceled the other week, last week. You know. So I was I can't wait till this COVID over with, man. Like it probably ain't going nowhere no time soon, cause you know, there's a lot of you got. Thanksgiving coming up, it's gonna increase. That Friday coming up, it's gonna increase. Christmas coming up, gonna increase. Coat, I mean, New Year's coming up, it's gonna increase. So, COVID ain't going no, nowhere no time soon. Even with the vaccines, you get a vaccine for it. Then you might get around a person with COVID. You gonna have it again, and you gotta get another vaccine. So, it probably ain't going nowhere no time soon, but it is what it is, man. That Falcons, sorry, Falcons horrible. Talking about Falcons, pathetic. So coming off a of bye week, how you come off a of bye week and you score nine points against the Saints? Matt Ryan is Matt, Matt Ryan is horrible. Like I don't know why he's still in Georgia. Why 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 he's still in Georgia, man? I, I want to know why. Can somebody explain to me why we paying him one hundred and fifty million dollars to get worse every year? He he got sacked eight times, eight times, eight. I mean it was like two or three on the O line. I mean, yeah, O line, but you know you're not mobile. So why is you standing in the pocket against the Saints? So you got Cameron Jordan, Thomas Davis, all, I mean, Demario Davis, all of them, and you looking lost like you a rookie or something. Like it's your first game playing, you in the pocket. Like you know, eventually, after eight, after four seconds, you know, you know they gonna come at you. So you trying to stand in the pocket seven to eight seconds. Which is what he was doing. Seven, eight seconds, looking lost. <laughs> and getting sacked. Third, four, third, third and two. You in field goal range for the half or something like that. You take a sack and get us out of field goal range. We could have took the lead. Like, Matt Ryan, what is you doing? What did you doing? Like, why you get worse? We get, we paying you all this money. They get worse. And I'm get tired of people, Falcon fans. Defending Matt Ryan, say, oh, he the best franchise quarterback. He's been a quarterback since 2007. 2007. You, it's 2020. It's going to be 2020. You better do something. Especially we got Julio Jones and all them. Talking about he the best franchise quarterback and all this. Man, we've been sorry. Like, come on, man. Like, we rebuilt it on Matt Ryan. And we still ain't. And we, now we got to rebuild all over again. He ain't did nothing when we got Matt Ryan. We got to rebuild again. So, I don't know. I don't know what to say. But, you know, I'm, I'm liking JT Daniels right now. I know you said it was Mississippi State. And, you know, we don't really have no good games to test us, you know, offensive-wise. I mean, if you still throw for 400, you know, 385 yards plus every game for him or not, I mean, hey, he, he can't get mad. But, I mean, now if he come out this game and, you know, he have an off game, it's like, oh, man. Like, you know, Reds game, we play South Carolina. You know, South Carolina, you know, had a good secondary, at least secondary. But Jason Horn opted out. You know, we needed him to stay. 
Let's see how really good uh, JC Daniels is, but it is what it is. Like I said, if you come out next game against South Carolina and go like 27 for 31 and have, you know, 345 passing yards, hey, <laughs> hey, you know what I'm talking you know what I'm saying, man? And like five touchdowns on, you know, hey, it might be the truth. But, I mean, yeah, what it is, man, you know. Just, I mean, he's looking good, man. He's looking good, man. He, a lot of throws he was making, you know. Like I say, he ain't played in for a while. And you doing your first game. Like, you know, you still you coming off a knee injury and you that confident in the pocket, moving around in the pocket, you know, making people miss and throwing dimes. Coming off an ACL injury and a meniscus injury. Think about next year. Like next year, you gotta be if you were an SEC fan or whoever, Clemson, whatever, they still have all SEC schedule next year or whatever, you know, or have out of coming game. Like you you gotta be scary because Georgia ain't even played most of their players. Like Tommy Bush ain't played, you know he been having injuries. Dominic Blaylock ain't played. Like he was supposed to be the next big thing. He was supposed to be doing what Jermaine Burton doing, itself um, a better. Then you got Aaron Smith who ain't played yet. It's fastest dude on the team most likely. He gonna be the fastest dude on the team next year. I'm pretty sure all on the field at that. Then you got. Who else? And then you got a new players coming in. And then you're gonna have a junior Pickens, a junior Dominic Blaylock. Then uh, a basically a senior Kiara Jackson. Like Jordan with JT Daniels, if he keep it up and don't get injured, throwing dimes. With pro most likely Zeus, Kenny McIntosh, and James Cook them staying again. Or you know, Kenny McIntosh can't leave anyway. But Zeus and James Cook, like in a better O-line and Ty Munkin, you know, it's the offensive coordinator, hopefully. Like, Georgia, Georgia can – and the defense. Like I say, Georgia – like I say, the main thing, JT Dance can stay healthy. And if he don't, you know, we have Brock Vandergill coming in. You know, but like I say, that's a whole other story on him. Like I say, Georgia, Georgia – I mean, I know I'm saying it, but Jamie Newman screwed us over when he left. He out of lot. Like, JT Dance clearly went healthy at the time to play. Man. He screwed us over, but it is what it is. I'm making another video soon. You know, I just had to make this one, man. JT Daniels on fire. Man, stop playing with that boy. He not one of them on my mind, you know?